Hello everybody, how is it going? Welcome back to another episode of Amps and the Axe Facts 3. I hope you haven't taken your vitamin C yet because you're about to get a healthy dose of some orange amps. Yes, orange vitamin C joke is lame. Nonetheless, we are going to be checking out all of the orange amps here in the Axe Facts 3. We're going to be running through all of them. The opening one you just heard, that was the 8030 HTC Clean channel. And uh, IR we're going to be using is going to be the 412 um, Citrus 57B1 from ML Sound Labs. And this is the default reverb. I just slapped that on there so that way the clean sound didn't sound absolutely dead. And that is what we're going to be using IR wise. The reverb is only going to be on this patch. Um, we're going to be checking out the AD30 Clean. And we have the 8030 um, Dirty. Let me let you hear what the dirty sound sounds like. So the AD30 is a pretty cool, interesting amp because it doesn't necessarily have a clean channel and a dirty channel. It is listed like that in the Axe Facts, but essentially what it is is it's two different channels and it has its own independent controls, like it says right here. So you can kind of set it to however you want it. You can put the gain up by one channel, you can put it down, however you want to do it, you can configure it. It uses EL. 84 tubes and this one was launched in 1980. Um, yes, ELE4 tubes. This one was launched in 1988 and it's called the Twin Head Channels. Twin, twin channel amp, excuse me. So Orange has a very particular type of distortion. You either kind of love it or you kind of hate it. It's, it's, it's very original, regardless of how you feel about it. It is very original. So that was that was the Ace the the A30. That's what it's called in the XFX. And you have the clean and then you have the uh, the dirty right there. I find this amp is the best if you're going for like a classic rock type of thing. It's perfect for that. I find the harder you push this amp, the worse it gets because it kind of gets bloated. It's also very bassy by the way. Uh, this is where <laughs> this is where I have the EQ. Oh god, this is gonna be so loud. Let me turn this down. Uh, this is gonna be EQ on and off of the dirty section. As you can hear, this, these amps have like a ton of mids and they have a lot of bass. I probably could turn the bass a little bit back up. I would probably completely equal things out. So that's going to be it for the AD30. I'm kind of trying to move fast that way I don't keep you here forever because we kind of have like five amps to go over. Now we're going to be looking at the actual bass amp, the AD200B. And for that, I need a bass. So using Movie Magic or YouTube Magic, let me get you the bass. So I have my Schecter Stiletto five string bass here. Lots of Stiletto Stealth. Um, pick right here I like this as a bass amp like without any drive it has a uh, very good tone to it let me do EQ on and off As you can hear, I just cut a little bit of mids out of it. Nothing too terrible. Um, you want to get crazy, guys? You want to get a little crazy? Let's add a little drive. Let's add the infamous black glass, dark glass amp. Oh, this is kind of loud. Right? I'm going to lower this a little bit. Off. 
See, when you pair it with a pedal like that, it sounds really great. It sounds kind of dark. I like brightening up my bass a little bit so that way it sounds really good, but this wouldn't be like my go-to like metal bass head. I mean, you could use it like you slap it with a dark glass, but for like a classic type of bass, like, you know, like a maybe even jazz bass fusion, uh, you know, like some light rock type of stuff like that, you could probably get away with it. It would probably say get with it. It would be perfect for that type of stuff. Bass doesn't really get covered enough with the Axe Effects, but the Axe Effects does bass freaking well. It's it's so great. Like, they have bass stuff in here. It isn't as plentiful as the guitar stuff, but the bass, like, amps and pedals that they have in here, they're fantastic. All right, that is going to go over it for the bass side of things. This is what it, well, that's a rocker verb. That's the terror. This is what the citrus bass looks like. is isn't a bells and whistles kind of, of amp. It's... It's very simple, but it's incredible. What type of tubes does this thing use? 6550 output valves or tubes for us Americans. And uh, it's 200, 200 watts of power. And I find that it sounds really great. Let me show you the IRs. Almost forgot this, sorry about that. The 410 SV base uh, 50, with the 57 from ML Sound Lab is what I'm using for this. So like I said, it's very simple amp. Um, with a pedal, it'll, you can take it into the metal realm, but if you don't have a pedal to add any drive or anything to it like that, it's still great for um, less extreme venues of bass. All right, so the next thing we are gonna be looking at is gonna be the Rock Reverb 50, so I gotta switch back to guitar. All right, I am back, and the drive has kicked itself on. That's why things are so nice. You go back to a, a stunt, a shunt, a stunty shunt there. Okay, we are in business. Oh, no, 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 go go back to the shunt. Look at me getting all crazy. Okay, this is called the Citrus RV50 in the Axe Effects, but it's actually the Rocker Verb 50, which the Rocker Verb, yes, it is right here. Let's read a little bit about it somewhere here. So you have an, it's in yellow, 34 tube, like a lot of British amps where it was introduced in 2003. People often think this is a 50 watt amp, so it's half as loud as 100 watts. But that's not the case. The difference is only a few decibels. Dirty channel is a four stages of unadulterated filth, but it's not a one trick pony. This thing can do all kinds of stuff. It also has switchable output tubes, so you can put EL34, 606s, KT88, or 6550s. You just gotta get it rebiased. It doesn't have auto rebiasing, which some amps have that, which is really great. You can just swap the tubes and go to town. That is really cool that you can. Uh, swap that out now once again like I was saying before you're either gonna love the distortion on orange or you're gonna hate it uh, IR wise that's we're still using the same one as we were on the 8030 so let's see what this one sounds like Reverb, if you use it for rock, which is in its name, it sounds perfect, but see, it gets it gets out of control. If you push it really hard. I find, okay, mess, me messing around with the sample, with my stuff in my room with my guitars, I find keeping the volume low and putting up the input drive a little bit, you can get some nice tones out of it. As you heard, when you when you push it really hard, it gets really raspy. It, 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 it pushes that patented orange distortion and just kind of shoves it right up there in your face. Like I said, you either love this distortion or you hate this distortion. Okay, is this actually the last thing we're going to be looking at. Yes, 
The final thing on our platter is the Citrus Terror, also known as the Tiny Terror. Now this amp is very interesting because you just have a volume, a tone, and a gain. It can go from 15 to 7. So it was one of the first Lunchbox heads that came out that everyone really, really loved. So Lunchbox heads have been a thing that has emerged recently. E.g. the, you know, you have the Rev D and G 20s, you have um, Ingle with a few of them, you have PV with the 6505 MH, little bitty small amps that get really good sounds, but they, you know, they keep their wattage low and they aren't mega mega expensive. They can be kind of hit or miss, but the, the lunchbox craze from amps is here to stay, whether you like it or not. It's This is simple. It's one channel. It uses EL84s, switch it between 7 and 15. It doesn't really have a, a clean channel. This is what um, Cliff says. It's inaudible when it's clean. Cliff also says the tone control is actually a high cut control on the power amp, therefore it is replicated by the high cut parameter. The high cut set fully CCW is equivalent to the amp's tone knob fully CW. The model uses a neutral tone stack set TMB to noon for authentic sounds and adjust to taste. That's if you come to ideal. That was written whenever you come to ideal, but a couple of firmers ago they added authentic. So this is what it's like authentic and let's uh, see what it sounds like. Got a bone to pick with you. You technically can use this on clean, it's just really hard. You have to jack up the level a lot. But I think we can all agree clean is not this amp strong suit cranked up. It's even too low. This amp seems like it would benefit from like using a, I just turned the wrong thing down, I'm sorry guys. That was on my middle pickup, everything you heard is on my middle, and this is uh, the neck. Kinda sounds better on my middle because it cuts coming out of the bass out of there. This amp, like you saw, it's very, very simple. I think this amp would benefit from pedals so you can you know you put pedals in front of it you get like an EQ pedal like in an analog realm like quote unquote real life you put some analog stuff in front of it some drive pedals stuff like that you can kind of shape the tone out of it once again you know you, you have to like orange's distortion because like I said you love it or you hate it they do make a um, there's like another one of this it's like the dark terror let me look that up. Yes, it actually is called the Dark Terror. It's this one seems to be aimed more, uh, yeah, the Tiny Terror, but more uncomplicated design, and you have a uh, tube in the effects loop. It's buffered. This one seems more, yeah, this more. It's more gained, more gained, more aimed at um, high, high gain. Um, it's still some EL eighty fours. You have three ECC eighty threes in it uh so we don't have the dark terror in the axe effects but you can probably manipulate the tiny terror to get there with all the stuff that we have in the axe effects today this amp's really cool a lot of orange stuff kind of would be perfect for like sludge and stuff like that this would probably be a great sludge amp but ladies and gentlemen i've kept you here long enough thank you so much for checking out this video getting your daily dose vitamin C. Hey, if you thought this video was cool, leave me a thumbs up. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. You might want to think about subscribing if you haven't because we have lots of cool stuff here. We go over amps and the Axe Effects. We go over drives. We go over tons of cool things here. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Have a great day. I'm going to have to be out. Peace. <laughs>